Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Matt Johnson. We are back with another episode of Real Estate Uncensored, and we are excited today to talk about apps and tools for real estate agents. Uh, Greg has been busily going through all of his uh, his little <laughs> nesting hobbit notebooks, which I'm going to mock him mercilessly for, and we're going to talk about all the stuff that's, uh, that you can barely read in his chicken scratch writing of all the apps and tools and tech oh, and resources and all kinds of stuff that he's got. Uh, that are just surrounding him on his uh, his hoarding piles of uh, paper that are around him on his desk. Which which so, I then am able to pass down to everybody and disseminate this great wealth of knowledge. So, uh, Matt, you should be thankful for this. Yes, I'm very thankful. I'm thankful for you, Greg. All right, so, uh, so if anyone are for. Way for people to join us live and get all this goodness live right here on Google <laughs> Hangouts, uh, let me speak quickly to anybody that's watching the replay here on YouTube. Go ahead and hit subscribe. That way you get all of our future episodes, and it's a great alternative because apparently we haven't been able to broadcast or submit anything to iTunes or Stitcher for the last month That'd be uh, fault. through some various issues. And uh, so if anybody's keeping up with us at the show there, make sure you hit subscribe uh, to either of those platforms. Forms, but uh, we have been having issues posting our new content there for about the last few weeks, and we're trying to get caught up and get stuff reposted there. Uh, our assistant had her Mac with a bunch of audio episodes that we're trying to get submitted. Her uh, her entire hard drive just bit the dust. So um, it's been it's been a trip the last few weeks trying to get stuff over to iTunes and Stitcher. So bear with us. We're trying to get uh, get all caught up in that area. But until then, we have the YouTube uh, for that. So all I hear is the excuses, Matt. I know, I know. That's right. We're getting it done. <laughs> I get it done. Not, right. solutions. not 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 problems. Right. Be part of the solution, Greg. Um, I, 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 I want to see you hopping on and uh, and editing some podcasts yourself. We'll I see. Would, I, I would love to do that for you. I just my yep, my schedule's full. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just, okay. So anyway, speaking of that, the high priest of hobbiting, uh, the junior grandmaster <gasps> himself, Greg. What's up? What's up, dude? I am having so much fun. I'm getting contacted by a lot of folks, which I don't tell you about because I don't want to hurt your feelings because I know how sensitive you are when it comes to the technology, and I know you're proud of it, but. Right now, buddy, you're just blowing it on the <laughs> uploads, okay? You're ruining a rep on the I street. Know, the street cred's plummeting. If it was stock, I would be selling it short immediately. Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> but overall, man. Dick. <laughs> well, it's your fuck up, not mine. <laughs> Don't blame the poor resi- our poorest assistant that lives in the Philippines. You know, you know she's, she has enough problems. That's right. um, but I am incredibly blessed. Okay, so I was walking out of my out of my gym uh, class this morning when I did some body pump, getting ripped for the summer, which uh-huh. I'm still currently working on. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Really? Uh huh. Okay, moving forward on that one. Images not wanted. Uh, uh, I was talking to my friend Bobby, and she's a hilariously awesome woman. I know she's listening. Bobby, what's up? This is your shout out. I was gonna. I wanted to give you. So she's a sweet woman. She she is. She is uh, such a happily married woman. She is a married woman with a crush on her husband. It is the coolest thing to watch. And um, she has two just great kids. um, uh, And she loves them to pieces. But not so much this morning. Because she was walking out of the gym class. I'm like, all right, Bobby, I'll see you Friday for Huff and Puff Friday for Body Combat. You know, hope you have a great day. Say hi to your uh, your Doug and your boys for you, for me. And she's like, oh, I'll say hi to them. Wait, wait, I I have to go murder fucking one of them. And I'm like... (laughs) What? What are you talking about? She's like, you wouldn't believe it, Greg. Last night at the top of his boy voice, one of my sons was in his room going la 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 la. I'm much higher than that because everyone else in the office can hear me if I keep going higher octave. But they did that, right? Okay. So Bobby walks into her son's room and goes, "Hey, you know, keep it down. Your dad's got to get up for work early. You know what? Are you, what are you doing?" And the kid, the son, looks at him. Her goes, "Mom, you're fucking killing me. You're just fucking killing me." <laughs> And he's a he's like a junior high guy or a little older, no, a high school or above high school. And oh. keep in mind, you know that doesn't fly in her house. And so I'm pretty sure she went home and dismantled his 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 living form, you know, limb by limb after mm-hmm. doing that. And then I'm knowing her, she, he's not going to be talking back to his mom again because you don't do that to moms. They have a unique way of finding pain points you never even knew you had, <laughs> and then exploiting them with very sharp objects. <laughs> okay. Like your social life. Your, <laughs> That's right. In our yeah, day, I wouldn't have, in if I would have pulled that in junior high, my, I wouldn't have had any earthly or worldly possessions left to my name. Uh, no. And back in my day, back in the, when the hobbits roamed the earth, mm-hmm. um, we called them pagers. They would take away the pager. Oh. It was the oh. precursor of the cell phone. If anybody remembers that, just say, just type me on the comments on this video and I'll know what generation you came from. What's up? It's hilarious. I can't believe yeah. you had a pager, Greg. 
I, dude, I had a clear uh, cage and I tucked it on the inside of my belt. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I have one more. I have one more thing we're going to talk about here. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you so, sure we don't want to get to a Facebook question first? No. Okay. No? Fine. All right. Fine. Okay. Face, Facebook me. Okay. All right. So, from the Facebook lead gen description objections group, join it if you're not already a member. Uh, Michael Baradell asks. It's a circle prospecting question. So he says he got a lead who's looking to list in the next month or two. After doing some repairs and updates, what would be your course of action? Any suggestions? Yeah, you give them help. Um, what I would do is we have our our um, our uh, good guy list. It's our refer our third party referrals that we know, like, and trust. I would be at their you know at the client's house. I'd say, hey, Matt, Julie, you're three twelve pound babies. Um, I know you guys are thinking about selling in a couple of months. You know, let me. Uh, we're a full service team. We use a lot of third party you know vendors that we know are very reputable because we use them, and we have a very good saying with them. What we say is that. You know, it's a, it's a very hard list to get on, but a very easy list to get off. So if, if they screw up more often than not, adios muchacho, you have, we have no need for, you know, people that are inadequate, you know, to our standards, which sadly is a large amount of people, Matt. I don't get it how we breed so what? many needs. Contractors not, not being reliable? I don't understand. Wait, should we pay them before they do the work? Is that, oh. is that how this goes? Oh, I think that would definitely ensure higher performance, I think. Oh, well, yeah, because you're paying them before they get there, before they do anything. That's, that's, a, that's trust. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> like a moron. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, that's what I would do. And then I would stay up with them. I would do Popeyes. I would do check-ins. I would offer to set it up, you know, set up the different appointments and meetings. I'd offer to meet the vendors out there, do an introduction. You know, just be very much hands-on with, with these people because, like we always talk about, you got to bring the value, guys. You got to get them on the value rocket ship and pack that thing full of fuel and take off like a bat out of hell so that they don't have an option but to go with you because you're so amazing. That would be how I would handle That's actually how I'm handling it right now for a client. Um, a callback I went uh, from a message I left a month ago doing calls into a neighbor. A guy calls me back, went on Monday, yeah, Monday, the holiday, uh, to his house, did a CMA. He needs to find a rental. So guess what yours truly does? He hunts down the rental sites pretty effectively and efficiently so I can show value to him to get him into that next house so that we can sell his home for like a million three. So that doesn't suck either. Yeah, all right. That's cool. my point. That's pretty good answer. Well, I like what, it. What you do, Matthew? Uh, well, in addition to all of those things, I mean, I like the good guy list. That's a fantastic uh, option to have. Uh, and then you ask them, well, when's a better time to check in? And then if they say four weeks, then you cut that to two weeks, and then that's when you actually check in. Uh, make sure you have them on an email drip for whatever's going on in, the in their neighborhood. So just listed is a great kind of email drip to set them up on. I was just talking with, uh, uh, recorded a, another hangout with Jeff Cohn earlier this morning what? where he ran through the script for that. You did another hangout without me? I know, I know. What I enjoy is, them too. Is, it, is this a right. sign of things Jeff, to come? Jeff will be coming back on the show. Jeff, oh, no. never fear. Jeff will be coming back on our show. Oh, and good. Then maybe we'll get on his show, and then we'll get, you know, it'll what all be, be good. What do you mean, um, maybe? Yeah. I, <laughs> that's happening. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that was uh, so that's a fun option to make sure that you're like passively staying in touch with them is to get them on an email drip that shows them when homes are coming up on the neighborhood to remind them, hey, other people are listing, other people are listing, other people are listing, so get your act together, you know. So that'd be, uh, I think that's that's how I would approach it. And then, you know, you just, you have to actually pick up the phone and call and then stay in touch via, via text if you can, so depending on their age, obviously. Yeah, you actually yeah. really do. And ask permission for the text message, guys. They'll give it to you, but... If they don't know you, they, they're they skittish about the whole text thing. Keep that in mind. There's a lot of text companies that are coming out right now uh, saying, hey, text your clients, do this, do that, or text your prospects. Mm, be careful, guys. Um, that's yeah. all I'm saying. Yep. I like I like the way Trey talked about it last week. If anybody caught that episode, the bill, building a mm -hmm. referral-only business, I love how he used it, which is when he gets an actual referral from an actual human being, then he texts the referral first and says, "Hey, so and so recommended that I, you know, reach out to you. Says you're maybe looking to do something in real estate, whatever that is, buying or selling." And then he warm uses the text the way people would like it to be used, which is to warm up a phone call uh, as opposed to just receiving a phone call out of the blue. And it's also not necessarily a text out of the blue because it's a referral from a trusted source. Mm -hmm. So it's it's all in it's all in with everything else. It's all permission and it's how you use it. It's you know just treat people the way you'd want to be treated, and that's you know the golden rule. Well, like shit. I like to be treated like shit, Matt. Right, so well, that's, that's what the discussion of your sex life is uh, way out of bounds for this <laughs> podcast. <Craig. coughs> Sorry, I had to go. All well right. played, sir. Well yeah, played. That's right. I that'll, teed that'll that one up. You should have given me a hard time. God. So, uh, 
All right. So before we get into all the apps and tools and resources, what what else did I what did I cut you off from saying? What uh, you want to talk so, about your weekend? You want to talk about the the week? You want to talk about shout outs? We've got a lot of people to get to. We've got. Uh, I'm, definitely not, I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not going to talk about my sex life anymore because you blew that one for everybody. No, I will mock you mercilessly. That's right. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> so I was just checking the YouTube stats today, and uh, we hit over 1,200 subscribers between yesterday and today. At some point overnight, I think somebody was up at like 3 a.m. watching uh, videos and subscribed to our channel. I guess I don't know. Um, hey. But thank you. So yeah, yeah. It, was, it was interesting. I ran into. Um, I was looking back over um, just our our files and all like the photos that we had saved. And uh, I, for whatever reason, remember the last time we talked about subscribers hitting like six hundred and sixty six. Yeah. And uh, like yeah, somebody do it quick. Yeah, somebody, somebody get Side us of off beast. that number six six six. Yeah. So that was December eleventh is when that uh, is when we hit that milestone or whatever. And uh, so in. Two wow. short months, we've literally doubled the number of YouTube subscribers. To the you show. know what? That is just because of all of you guys. Thank you for spreading the word. And you know what? It, it, Matt and I are, are ecstatic because we we wanted to hit it by the end of the month. We've already hit it. It's twelve oh six. You know, uh, to be the exact number on it. That is epic. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're going to keep this growing, guys. I'm going to put it out there, Matt. So I don't know what you're going to do with it, but this is going to happen. All right. I think. I think and believe that we can get over 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I think we can get more than 5,000 subscribers before the end of September. And that's only with everyone's help. If everyone can help us get there, epic status. That would be monumentally large for us guys. And if we've helped at all, you know, please just help us spread the word on that. That would be huge. But let's get back to me, Matt. I want to talk about me. <laughs> 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 that was uh, that was a smooth. That's what we call a segue. Yes, smooth as silk. Smooth as silk. Right? Or is a baby's bud. Okay. Um, but I don't like babies. So, um, the uh, I I think that you know I've been a master chef as you well know because I've been cooking from the Tasty app on Facebook, right, and right. I uh, I think Cordon Bleu is gonna be holding back their diploma from me until I learn how to heart properly boil a an egg all wow. the way through. Okay. okay. Yeah, I went into my. Not egg that I have any room to talk, but at least I don't claim to be able to cook very well. I just say I can. It doesn't mean I can actually do it. But you know, I uh, I went to get my hard. I get a couple of hard boiled eggs in the morning. You know, after working out and everything, and I'm peeling it apart, and I'm not really paying attention. Got the water going, and all of a sudden, I look down, I feel this weird sensation on my hands. I'm like, what is this, what what is this weird feeling? Yeah, dude, I didn't cook the egg all the way through. Like the inner realm and the yolk in the middle were all raw. Yes. Such a fail. All right. Such a fail. And I had to go hungry. <laughs> you went hungry. <laughs> For about the next three well, minutes. I have a similar story, which is I, uh, I got up this morning and uh, immediately went to Starbucks. And no shit. we forgot to eat breakfast. <laughs> Just walked out of the house. I got back from Starbucks at like 9.30 in the morning after I got some work done and walked in and then realized, oh, I'm, uh, I'm hungry. What, what can I eat for a snack? Like, wait a minute. I never ate breakfast. That's why I'm hungry. Well, at least you remember to put pants on before you left the house, bud. Well, it's, that's, a, that's a good thing for us all. <laughs> God, no, no shit. No shit for all your neighbors. <laughs> that's right. Uh, all right. Shout outs on your side first off. Mm. Uh, oh, we have a shout new announcement. Outs, yeah. Matt, what is our new announcement we got, come, we got going on? We just oh, got it today. Right. Okay, so how could you forget that? <laughs> uh, yeah, no kidding. So, uh, so we just put up a uh, a new uh, not a new site, but basically we have a way for you to help support the show and specifically to help promote or support the people that help support the show, which are our two lovely and talented assistants, Vic in the Philippines, who does all the podcast editing and setting up of the events and the social media and all that jazz, and then Caitlin, uh, who we originally met. She was my assistant at Viral. Now she uh, helps to support her family, her her husband, and two kids by doing freelance work and for us basically she helps produce the show essentially so she books the guests she gets them set up and makes they make sure they look and sound great and then she does a lot of our graphic and web design so for those of you who would like to support the show and you want to make sure that the show keeps going the way it does and gets bigger and better and better and all that good stuff uh, head on over to patreon.com slash reu podcast and we'll put that in the notes so it's patreon dot com slash reu podcast and you can donate to the show there and that money goes straight to supporting the two gals that help us put the show on and just guys, just for your dyslexic asses like me, uh, it's P A T R O N no, slash. It's not. Yes, it is. P -A no, it's not. Yes, it P -A -T -R -E 
N. C dot com. dyslexic. See? Yeah, exactly. Don't. We go? I think I it's hilarious that, that, that you proceeded that with I'm dyslexic and then I'm going to proceed to spell it incorrectly for you. Well, I'm smart. S M R T. I mean, S M A R T. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. So close on both of those. <laughs> so patreon.com slash RU podcast. And then but, uh, just on, a, a couple on, of uh, regular shit. Wait, wait hmm? killer. Dude, and I want to make it very clear, guys. If you can't or you know don't feel that you want to contribute to the show, absolutely no problem. You're still going to get the same exact quality we've always provided. This is just trying to help offset the, some of the costs. Yep, true. All right. So, uh, and then for shout outs real quick before, before we turn it over to Greg and let him run with the rest of the show. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so just real quick, Viral Marketing, just want to thank them for uh, writing a check to make hangouts and podcasts like these happen. Uh, they are awesome. You can check them out at getviral.com. They uh, do a phenomenal job running Greg's East Bay Real Estate video blog. And then if you uh, want to generate online buyer leads but higher quality leads and a number that you can actually follow up with as a solo agent, check out Equity with two Qs. Uh, you can also get in touch with Greg to see if it's available in your market. And if it's not available, if you can round up a few other people that want to go in on it with you, we can make it available in your market. So keep that in mind. It's great for solo agents or small teams of agents within the same brokerage. We can bring it anywhere in the country and get you set up with that. Super inexpensive, and they hook you up with a, a mortgage lender that will offset half the cost of Legion. So it's a great way to get that all squared away and generate buyer leads for yourself. So with that said, Greg, who do you have to shout out today? I'm sorry, I tuned you out. Where where were we? What's going mm -hmm. on? Mm -hmm. Shout out. Uh, <laughs> shut, shut up, shout outs. Uh, okay, where did I put all my chicken scratch? I know I put it around here somewhere. I had a, some really, really amazing opportunities. Um, I got, where is it? it was right here. Nikki, thank you so much. I got your thank you card. Everybody that uh, can't see that, she wrote me a personalized thank you card in her own handwriting. <gasps> and it's in blue ink, my favorite color. <laughs> um, so, Nikki, thank you so much for the handwritten card. What an awesome gesture. Really, really touched me that you took the time to do that. Um, let's see. Hold on. Let me get back to my calendars. Uh, Bianca, last night, so much fun. So much, so much, so much fun. Um, I, I really, get, I want to see how the client parties go, you know, stay up with me. I want to see kind of how everything you know, continues to grow for you. Dude, Matt, she went from, no, in the last couple of years, <coughs> from like 20, 30, 40, 50, you know, thousand dollars a, a year in income. She spiked to like 120 grand from, you know, 50,000 to 120 grand. Do you know what she just did? You know all she did? What's up? She started marketing herself. Oh, wow. And <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm not, dude, in her area, no shit. Her agents, the agents in her area, honest to God, talk down about marketing. Like, don't promote yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone know what you do. Promote the brand, da, da, da. And I'm like, well, who's this fucking moron that tells, tells people this? Because that's the most asinine thing you could ever do. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. this is your business. You got to promote it. And I'm so proud of you. We put together a plan. So Bianca's going to knock it out of the park. Check. What is up, dude? We have got you set up today uh, to get squ uh, squared away for doing the MCC, or as I have called it, the McDaniel Challenge. Uh, we're going to get you going the very first or second of next month. And then, uh, Bobby, another shout out to you. So glad uh, that we had time to chat today. It was pretty damn funny. Um, Tina on iTunes. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Yes, Matt and I are definitely uh, working on that. As Matt mentioned in the beginning, you will get your fix, people. I swear to God. Just, you know, just just hold it up. Just, I know you want to do this and get your next injection of them, uh, of the, you know, our, our podcast here, but just, we're coming. Um, Norman from Monday. What a blessing to talk to you, man. This guy, Norman is awesome. I see phenomenal things with him. He's in a rough patch in life right now. I know kind of one of those places where it's either you're going to make it or not going to make it. And when we got on the phone, you could hear the energy was low. Like he was like, oh, damn it, life blows. But dude, by the end of the time that he and I talked for two hours, man, he was up, pacing the room, rocking and rolling, getting ideas. He was flowing. You know, he was in the groove. And I, I, I think that he's going to really, really, really see a major difference in the coming year, purely based upon that. And then, dude, talk about being kind. Then he goes and posts on uh, on my Facebook on my Facebook page. You know, hey man, so great to get some time with you know Greg McDaniel the other day, and you know then we had a bunch of people chime in, and I was able to uh, lock down Bob, dude. 
Bob, he, he, he loves our show. He says that, you know, a lot of the stuff he, you know, that, that he watches, he makes you and I make it look so damn easy. Uh, so I asked him to take the MCC and uh, the McDaniel challenge and he, he accepted and we got him on, man. So awesome. yeah, yeah. I'm super, I'm super pumped about these guys, man. They're, we got great listeners, Matt. You know, the mm -hmm. two that we have, I think are just phenomenal. <laughs> That's right. The two that we have. Thank you. That's awesome. Neely. Well, wait. Uh, uh, ne <laughs> ne <laughs> I think she might be both of them. I think she is. She has two accounts. One, she's listening yeah. one on our, our, our fan page and then one on her page. She's probably yeah. sitting there stewing right now going, what the fuck is wrong with these two? <laughs> Why they always call me out? Our two listeners. Okay. It's all, it's all in just in love. I think we mean our 1,206 listeners, Matt. Yeah. And that's just on YouTube. And that's just on YouTube. You guys are yeah. amazing. All right, cool. Okay, I got my shout-outs uh, done. All right, so apps, apps and tools, and uh, and tech tips for uh, for so for savvy agents or tech savvy agents. So there's a couple of different categories we'll get into today. So we've got categories of um, basically uh, like neighborhood research sites. So that we got some really good ones for that. And, uh, and then we've got different agent tools. We've got like live streaming tools. There's all kinds of stuff. So there's we'll kind of try to keep it into like rough categories here. But uh, where do you want to start, Greg? You want to start with some of the neighborhood research tools that you found? That's where I want. That's where I want to kick it off. Uh, okay. The reason why is that this is some of the biggest problems with people. They feel that they don't want to door knock, cold call, market, network, or anything else because they don't know about anything in the area. Don't know right. about. Not quite English. They don't know anything about the area, um, or they're breaking into a new neighborhood, or they moved into the area from out of town, or whatever else. Yeah. You know what, guys? Neighborhoodscout.com is a phenomenal site where you can go and get incredibly nitty gritty information about what's going on. It tells the percentage of how high income or low income the neighborhood is compared to the the county, the state, and then the rest of the country. Talks about crime, demographics, male, female, age brackets. You know, different amenities in the area, get crime reports, you know, like I said, demos, general information, real estate information. It's just a really good place where, <laughs> what did Neely say? Uh, where you can go and get just <coughs> a ton of solid stuff. It's a lot of reading. Um, but uh, if you want to do a simpler one, you can go to homesnap.com. Um, and Homesnap is going to be, uh, an area where you can go over on home snap only I think it's called market uh, home snap and you type in it's a really big and easy front page and you type in like a, like a nine four five two six my zip code so you type in home snap uh, type in, I've been teaching aim for three hours my voice is about ready to break on me but <laughs> in home snap I just talk literally I talk for three hours as fast as I can like this to talk about tech so it's like my it's on the brain today yeah uh, but you, you go into home snap, type in a zip code, go over to the left hand side. There's going to be four gray bars. The bottom one says market guide, click on market guide. It's going to give you a really easy way to understand the market in two easy paragraphs. They will top bar area where it's going to give you a rate, a rate from a rating from 100 down to zero on your market health. So like nine, four, five, two, six, where I am, it's a very healthy, it's got a 99% health rate. That's because we got, you know, it tells you about your monthly inventory, uh, your days on market, medium price, homes for sale, medium sales price, and then the, and the sales within the last 30 days. Nice. So it's really easy. You can take this out. Uh, if you're talking to a buyer, if you're going to be in an open house, you can type in an address or a neighborhood and do the exact same thing. You also can compare it at the top. It says nearby zip codes. Or, you know, this one says, you know, 94526 places, which is either Danville or Diablo. And you can compare and contrast. You can click over here on the far left. It says Bay Area. You can see what the Bay Area is, what Danville is, comparing to these different um, different areas. So it's, it's actually incredibly in, in interesting. But if you scroll down slightly, it's going to say the zip code real estate statistics in blue writing. And then right below it, you're going to have four different tabs. One's going to be all homes, detached only, townhouse only and condos only. So if you have someone that's looking for a specific type of property, you can go in and click on the specific tab and that way you can give them the information they actually want versus just giving them general information where they can really go anywhere and get that info. Um, and yeah, so neighborhood scout and um, yeah, neighborhood scout and home snap are two of the best. If you guys want to go to the big dog, you go to Zillow 
Zillow actually has a ton of neighborhood information as well. What you need to do, you need to go into Zillow. Um, and I wish I had this pulled up before because then I would actually have this information in front of me. But they have buyer's guides, a foreclosure center. They have a real estate app. Um, where's the advice? Uh, you can go down to all topics, real estate questions. Um, and then there's you know information about the marketplaces that you're trying to buy in that will, you can really understand what, what's happening in there as well. So Zillow is another very powerful area for you to go look in. If you're already there and you know it and you like it and you trust it, go there. But the other two uh, are, are phenomenal options uh, for getting home information. Um, there's also another one called Housing Trends. It's a little bit more rugged, if you want to say. Hmm. But you can you can click and get like home market analysis and you can kind of click through this thing and have some fun with it uh, from housevalues.com. You know, you go there. It's it's a little bit more on the clunky side, definitely a little bit more like an older generation uh, mm -hmm. website. Um, but it is another one that if you want to poke around, get some more removed or, you know, recluse information, that's another source for you. Well, it's, uh, yeah, how, it's not housingtrends.com because that goes to something that's just for sale. Yeah. So yeah. um, do you remember what the, the URL is? Is it just housingtrends.com? Uh, That's what I'm saying. It takes you to, um, it's, it's they've, it looks like they're working on it or something, but I got it to work for me. Hmm. It, can, it goes housingtrends.com right here. But you can go, you know, real estate agents, realtors, first time home buyers, mortgage, real estate, real estate listings, you know, housing trends, commercial real estate, home insurance, individual real estate, you know, all a lot of the uh, real estate advice. I mean, all kinds of stuff in here. But I mean, then they link it back to like Pulte and some other folks. But, I mean, that it's a it's a it's your third if only choice if you really want to go do something, guys. It's yeah. it's not the best, but it is another resource for you. Okay. So. Oh, um, here's another one, guys. Um, you know, it's a site called Pad Mapper. So P A D M A P P E R, and Pad Mapper is uh, a opportunity where you can go in there and look for rentals, and you can uh, kind of really get clear on the different rentals that you want to have. I'm using it right now for the gentleman that I was telling you about, um, and he I gave it to one of my team members as well. He has to move out of his house. And so he's using Pad Mapper, and he's finding some great opportunities for him, him and his family. Um, if you don't want to go to Craigslist or anywhere else for uh, for different rentals, which they, in our area they're really really hard to come by, so it might be the same way in your area. But Pad Mapper is pretty darn cool. Hmm. Yeah, very cool. Let's see. Yeah, here. You, can, uh, you can set your filters for the the range, the number of beds, number of baths, and then. You hit go for the area that you want to be in, and it like shows you on Google Maps what these places are and where they're located in proximity to the area that you want to be in. And you just mm -hmm. click on the, uh, the little pin, and it shows you exactly what the place is. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's one of those things that you know, in my Hobbit pads, mm -hmm. I forgot about, and I I, I pulled out a retirement. And I was like, holy shit, I totally forgot about this. You know, this is something that you know I could possibly use right now. Yeah. And guess what? I did. <laughs> Um, another really cool, uh, site guys, hold on. I got to organize my, my Hobbit pads apparently a little bit better. Uh, not Zach, where are you? Come on now. I know you're here somewhere. I just remembered it. That's why I'm having a rough time finding it. Where is it? Home, home, home disclosure. Isn't that? Oh yeah. Home disclosure homedisclosure.com um it homedisclosure.com guys is a phenomenal site where you can go type in an exact address and they'll give you a detailed report on that home how many how many permits were pulled if there's any offenders within a certain radius if there's a high risk of flood fire earthquake you know whatever it is um anything that's recorded on it so you really get a detailed idea of what's really going on this would be phenomenal for buyers you know, do some research on this thing. And they're like, well, gosh, were there any permits pulled for uh, for the reconstruction? And you would already have the answer. Yeah, there's 24 permits pulled for this property. Oh, oh, okay. You know, and then you can send the report over them for them to review. You can also pull that pre going to a CMA and understand kind of a little bit more about the home in more detail and specific, you know, instances. That way you'll be more, even more prepared when you show up for the, uh, for the listing appointment. And that one I just heard about the other day. Um, if you want to 
work uh, if you if you're trying to maybe potentially speak a second language or break into a marketplace where you know a certain language is not your first primary language duolingo dot com d u o l i n g o dot com is a free place you can go learn different languages they make it fun more like a game um and it's it's a hundred percent free so if you're going spanish to english english to spanish or french to english or whatever the the the, the combination is it's kind of like um uh, what's a rosetta stone but it's free right um and then with that being said let's say you're working with bilingual clients and maybe you're not quite there on you know getting everything you know they can understand everything you're saying and vice versa there it's called uh, word lenses google just bought them and i think it's you know as google translate and it has a picture of like a, a letter and then like a squiggly you know thing behind it and what you do this thing is so flipping cool you can take this mat take the camera turn it on and then you hold this and you point it at let's say you're going from english to spanish for some spanish clients you have well you can they can folk, hold it right over a contract or something that they're trying to understand in english and it will translate the words into spanish for them oh wow right there and it will move as you move it translates as they go but right. the other cool thing is you know my you know incredibly caucasian ass uh, <laughs> does not understand or speak any other language except for you know ebonics because i'm fluent in ebonics uh well, in the, well, yeah that's well, i'm filing that away for a future podcast so we will well, come back to that i'm in the i live in the hood of Dan, uh, the deville yeah danville sure hardcore do. yeah yeah yeah, mean, yeah. The mean streets of Danville. Okay. Mean streets. I mean, you get passed by by two Mercedes and then a Honda. Ooh, That's oh, 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 perish oh, the thought. How Sorry, are they I had to clutch my pearls for a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, your pearls? Uh, I don't think you're reaching a little high, bud. Uh -huh. uh, but so the other thing is is <laughs> the other thing is that you can take and you can speak into your phone mic. And it will translate into the other language. So, for again, my white ass, I'm sitting, I'm in Mexico, and I'm like, instead of going, uh, hola, uh, 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 I'm fucked, uh, please, uh, hotel, please, uh, oh, I'm gonna die. You can go and say, hello, I'm trying to find my hotel. It is the Ryu on the coast. Can you please give me directions or point me in the area of a bus or a taxi cab, please? Then it types it out in Spanish. And then you're just like, can you read that, sir? Thank you very much. And then they can they can speak it back to you. And you guys can have an actual conversation in that manner. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I really thought it was interesting. I really enjoyed it. I'm probably going to offend the first Hispanic friend that I have and be like, hey, you speak Spanish, right? Hey, check this shit out. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm just I'm I'm picturing all the horrible things you could accidentally say with a Spanish language translation device. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's let's move on. No. Well. <laughs> well, it wasn't intentional that you're trying to you know. Not tell them going there. That. Nope. Go ahead. Keep going, Greg. What's the next resource? You keep going. <laughs> um. It's called LTE-U. Okay. Uh, it's free Wi-Fi. It taps into Wi-Fi's, and it, it can get you free Wi-Fi if you're out and about. Um, I actually was watching these. I got Duolingo, Word Lenses, and LTE-U from a blab called Dorks Unite. And I was like, okay. They actually Sounds lived up to their right. words. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, do we want to talk about TrueView and kind of some YouTube ads, or? Mm. No, we'll save that for the end. Let's let's stick with some other resources that are more real estate specific, if we can. Okay, I'm looking through this stuff. We're going as quickly as I can. Let's see here. Well, Matt, if you were to choose, you know, out of what we've talked about so far, is there one that kind of stands out for any specific specific reason? Uh, out of the ones we've talked about so far, well, I would say probably the best of those would be like Neighborhood Scout because it's the uh, we've talked about it a lot on the show. It looks like a great, great app, and it's actually you know very, very applicable to what our listeners and viewers are going through, which is trying to get educated about the market so they feel confident to go in and knock on doors, make the phone calls, et cetera, et cetera. So that's probably my favorite so far. 
Okay, well, here's one you'll probably like. Okay. Um, it's called Updater, so U P, you know, D A T E R dot com. Okay. And what it is is if you are going to be making a move, uh, and you want to update, you know, your your folks, you know, your people that you know that you're making a move, mm -hmm. it can it can help you coordinate that. No, it's, a free, it's a free app. So if you're purchasing a home or renting a home, you know, be, you know, be the first to tell us a little bit about where you're moving. Let's say I want to click on, on purchasing, you give them the address and then they're going to help update all your information. So you don't miss any mail or anything else uh, as you make that move. Hmm. Um, right. Good resource for your, uh, for your clients. Mm -hmm. cool. It's an, for, for buyers, especially or buy, sell and take that stress out of like, how am I going to get everybody to know? Like, well, just, just use this. Don't worry. I remember mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. I think I know what I'm doing. We'll see what I know if I know what I'm doing. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. I'm glad that we're so entertaining today. Oh, um, okay. Let's say if you guys are trying to find a lead uh, or someone and you don't, you can't get their phone number or you can't, you know, get their most current up in, uh, in, information. You can go to uh, peoplefinders.com and they can help facilitate what is called a skip trace. A skip trace is something that is an incredibly awesome stalking tool. So Matt and Julie have evaded me. And uh, since they are my past clients, they changed their phone numbers. I don't know how to reach them. Maybe they sold and I want to just reach out and try to touch base or whatever. Okay. So I'll do, I'll perform a skip trace <coughs> on Matt. And I'll pull up, you know, his parents. I'll find out his parents and their and their parents, his parents' information to contact him. So I'll pick up the phone. What's your mom's name again? Uh, Sarah. Sarah. I'll be like, ring, 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 ring. Hello. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. My name's Greg McDaniel. I'm a real estate agent here in the area. I worked with uh, Matt and and Julie um, a couple of years ago when I helped them buy their house. Oh yeah, you're such a sweet agent. You did such a good job for them. We really appreciated you. We tell all of our friends about you. Oh, that's so kind of you. I really appreciate that. Um, but you know what I'm, <laughs> what I'm trying to do is I, apparently I, I seem to have misplaced Matt's phone number. Do you, would you happen to have that by chance? Oh, of course, dear. Here, let me get it for you. It's my, apparently my mom is 80 years old yes. and she's Barbara Bush. And she's got a funny accent. <laughs> that's right. I think it came out of a comic. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but you can perform the skip traces and the find the people and say, hey, you know what? I'm a friend of Matt's or I've known Matt or whatever, you know, white lie or pseudo truth you want to tell. If you want to go down that road, I wouldn't recommend it because it usually comes back to bite you in the nuts. So I would probably, you know, tell the truth, hey, look, I'm, I lost Matt and Julie's phone number somehow. Is there an opportunity that you could be, be able to pass it on to me so I can retouch base with them? Um, right. So, if you have any dead leads or anyone else that's kind of just gone on, gone under the wind, skip this to the bitch asses. It's kind of like bounty, you know, Doc the Bounty Hunter, but yet not with the horrible, you know, hair? mustache and, and hair, hair and sunglasses and everything. And can't really carry a gun because he's not really a cop. That whole thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just not like Doc the Bounty Hunter at all, really. Oh, well, it's, it's kind of like, I mean, you're, skip, you're skipping, you're just sk doing a skip trace. You're finding the outlaw or the, okay. the one on the run, the one that doesn't, doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> that person in your database that's desperately trying to get away from you. If I, honey, if you keep your head down, don't get any more credit cards and don't go to that Safeway because that's where Matt goes. <laughs> <laughs> skip trace them. That's right. Um, of course, guys, Mojo for calling. If you, if, um, if you guys have not heard me go on and on about that, please go try Mojo. I was talking with a gentleman in my workout class this morning, and uh, he is in title, and he has been promoting you know Mojo to other real estate agents. And lo and behold, guess what happens? They're blown away. They can make that. Man, they can make 125 phone calls an hour. <gasps> what? <gasps> no, is it true? I think God, Greg is telling the truth. Yeah, fuckers. Go start making some money and saving some time. This is not rocket science. Yes. If you if you find yourself dialing with your fingers, remind yourself that human beings don't have to do that anymore. Oh, they're like blood, they're like bloody nubs now because you've been dialing for so long. You could have had full full sized fingers. That's right. Just listen to me. <laughs> oh, oh. Too much oh, the question. Yeah. Sorry, it's funny because I, I watch the like the Facebook group, the lead gen script and objections group, and I, I swear every day somebody posts a question 
about how do you call expireds? What's the best software to get? How you know? Do you really do you really use it? Like, should I get the, the triple line dialer or should I get the single line dialer? Triple, and, oh triple, triple, God. triple. Yeah. It, it's it's guys. Here's an astounding revelation. It's going to make you three times more effective. So weird. Um, off that rant. Okay, AM Open House. We've talked about it a little bit. It's an opportunity. It's again, this is a free site. You guys go in and you have the opportunity where you can uh, go upload photos, put a little description in there. They'll create a little site. They'll help post it out to social media. Then when you go and promoting the open house and all that stuff, obviously, once you get to the open house, you, you, know, you press the start button on it and it starts the open house, right? And you, when you're doing your vetting of the people that are coming through and you're like, hey, Matt, Julia, 312 Pound Babies, how'd you guys find us today? Was it, you know, the signs, the web, or did your agent send you? And they're like, oh, our agent sent us. Oh, okay, great. Enjoy the house. We don't want to talk to Matt because he's not really a prospect. He's just going to be an annoyance. Right. Now, totally. <laughs> so let's say then we go meet Lisa and Bob. And they were sent there because they uh, found us on Z Zillow or Redfin, right? I'm like, awesome. You know, your agent didn't send you. Are you, uh, you folks working with one? No, we're not. We're just we're in starting phases, blah, 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 blah. Um, then there's simple little forms, like first name, uh, last name, a little how they find you, questions about the house, very simple things. And, it, and it, it will give you an idea and feedback to the seller on what people's thoughts are. It will also, which I really like, because if you schedule that from 1 to 4 p.m., it doesn't shut the, the open house off at 4 p.m. Because we all know those sons of bitches that show up at 3.59.59 and go, oh, we're running late. Can we just walk through it real quick? And you're sitting there going, oh, my feet hurt. My back hurt. I'm tired. I got to take a piss. And, you know, I, I just don't want to be here anymore. But you're on your face, like absolutely, come on in. <laughs> Be my guest to stay. Very for accurate recreation of that moment, Greg. <laughs> I've lived it for many, many moons, my friend. Yeah, that's right. Um, and so what happens is once you, once these people who obviously it, oh, Murphy's Law plays into effect, and they're going to be the ones that buy the house, so of course you're going to let them in, right? And you're just a nice human being. Mm. But eh, some days, well, you, not you. <laughs> no, you're a recluse. No, not me. Naturally. <laughs> no, no. I mean, we're so, talking about other people, the, the, the people outside your door, the, the right. rest of the human race. Right. right. God. Uh, so when you set it, when you shut it down, let's say you get like three leads that open house, right, or three people that fill in the information. That once you say, okay, open house, stop, click, then it will send an email looking like it was tailored from you, thanking them for coming through the open house. Here's some information about it again. Here's the link if you want to review it. Blah 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 blah. Right. Now. They like it because they're getting contact with it from you. You like it because you don't have to be an agent and be yourself and not follow up like you <laughs> epically do. It's already taken care of for you, and Matt likes it because it's a system. Yeah, it is a system. I like that. <clears throat> and it, it just it's a really good thing um, to, to kind of start putting into use. Again, guys, it's free. Use it. It will make you that thing called dinero. See, Matt? I didn't even need the translator for that one. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, keep going. What else you got, Greg? God, you're giving me a headache. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, let's say you guys are potentially looking to rent uh, or help a client rent a property, investment property, or their investors, and they want to know what they are, the rents are going for in specific uh, condos, townhouses, single family home developments. It's called rentometer.com. So, R A rent. O meter M E T E R dot com. And what you do is you plug in the address, it will start to autofill. So Matt, put in your address, put in your bedroom count, and what you think it would rent for. Then it will go and it will select from a vicinity, uh, you know, in the in the vicinity around you what the going rates are, and then color code them: red, yellow, and green. Green being the good one, yellow being the kind of high ones, red means these people are out of their damn minds. But it also shows you the medium and average rental prices. It gives you on an actual meter, you know, like the like, oh, you're an idiot or middle. You know, this is an acceptable amount of rent. Okay. So as a renter, you know, if you're getting gouged as a mm. real estate agent talking to your investment clients, you can give them some sort of realm of idea of what the prices could what the homes could rent for. 
And then you have, have overall knowledge of what's going on so that you can talk to re agent, uh, uh, renters in the area and say, hey, look, Matt and Julie, you three tail pound babies. You know what? I know that you guys are paying, you know, $4,000 a month for this three bedroom house. You know, with that amount of money, we could get you that five bedroom home that you desperately need with that home, with that office. Hmm. You know, it gives you that leverage. And you they have, an, they have a newsletter that goes out. Um, I think monthly or weekly with what is going on in the rental market. Uh, so if you deal in that arena, rental meter is a phenomenal asset for you guys um, to start putting into, uh, start putting into uh, use now. Okay. Cool. Let's see things here. Okay. It's not exotic clubs. What is it called? It's, oh, it's uh, um, amazing clubs. Amazing clubs. That's what it is. Amazing clubs, guys. We're not talking about the bunk, bunk, wow, wow kind of club. We are talking about when you are driving around with your clients and they talk, uh, they're going to be talking about their likes and dislikes and a lot of things. But if you find out, you know, the, that they like wine, cheese, teddy bears, ice cream, cigars, beer, uh, chocolate, dog food, uh, dog toys, you know, uh, dolls, whatever. They have these clubs that you can subscribe to, or they have a variety pack if you, if you just can't make up your mind and your people like everything. So you can give them something of everything. Um, and you can do either three, six, or 12 month packages. Oh, they have a lobster club too, by the way. Well, it's like $1,200 for the year. So you bet <laughs> they better have referred a big ass fucking house or they so may just have like to deliver presents. a live lobster to you. Everyone? Oh, absolutely. No, they actually fly in from Maine, smartass. Oh, all right. Does <laughs> it come down like this? <laughs> <open> like, <laughs> like it repels down from the helicopter overhead? Like you earlier today outside your house? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, but no, these things get delivered. And guys, this is the true power of this site. So amazingclubs.com, they're going to ship it out, you know, three months, six months, or 12 months in a row. And you can, instead of sending this, I wouldn't know. Matt sent me a referral. Or when he bought his, his five-bedroom home for me, I am not going to give him a closing gift and send it directly to Matt. That doesn't do anything, all right? You have it sent to you at your office, and then you take that, and then you're going to, you know, call, I will call Matt. Hey, Matt, what's up, man? Yeah, dude. Hey, guess what's here, bro? You got the Beer of the Month Club arrived for you. Uh-huh. I know, man. I'm thirsty, too. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll be over in, like, a couple hours. See you around six. All right, man, see you then. It gives you an opportunity to continually retouch and reconnect with these with these folks that have done business with you, bring them something they actually want, and you can and you can have the opportunity to talk about the market. Hey, Greg, you know, crack beer, you know, like so. What's the uh, what's the market like? Is I making some money on my house? And there you go, guys. It takes care of two things. It takes care of the lack of communication. All you guys and I you know, perform on a or lack of performing on a daily basis with our past client, current clients and prospects. Mm -hmm. And it also gives you the opportunity to do a pop by. Yeah. These are things that are very powerful and they're fun guys. You're going to put a smile on someone's face. It's the best kind of gift you can give because they already like it because of you're able to bring them, you know, fresh chocolate every single month or like me, I'm a hot sauce nutcase. I put hot sauce on everything. If I could put hot sauce on cereal, I probably would. <laughs> oh. Well, you can. I just don't know how good it would be. Ugh. Um, but, I mean, the hot sauces, dude, I get like two or three brand new you know, hot sauces every month. Hog fucking heaven. Oh, my God. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. So... Um, and speaking of pop buys, if you guys check out popbuyideas.com, there's also some good stuff there. Yeah, yeah, a lot, of, lot, ideas. Of, a lot of really good ideas. Yeah, they actually do it by season on uh, PopeyeIdeas.com. So, uh, you know, obviously, winter, spring, summer, fall, they have different items you can go buy. And then, yes, they do also have a nice, cheesy script for you for every item. <laughs> so it is very effective. Uh, you take those scripts, uh, you know, with a t with tongue in cheek and a little bit of salt. But uh, another good idea just to get your ass out the door, in the car, out of the car, to their front door, ring the doorbell, have a communication opportunity with a real live human. <laughs> you know what we should do, Matt? We should get you some Popeye, you know, items and get you out the door. Mm -hmm. Talk to some right. real live humans. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 never gonna happen, Greg. I talk to real life humans. I just do it on podcasts and not in person. 
that's not talking to people. <laughs> that's communicating with people. Uh -huh. You need to get out there and say hi. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Well, so you got to come down to San Diego. You got to come up to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did it actually. <laughs> I made that trip. Thank you very much. Yes, you actually did. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Thank it, you. It good night. All right. <laughs> what have you got? We got about ten minutes left. Um, Mike. So what, uh, what, what resources can we give out in the last 10 minutes? Uh, guys, go to wordofmouth.com. Uh, Word of Mouth does a newsletter uh, that you can uh, get on a, I think it's a weekly basis. But Word of Mouth gives you tips and tricks and little ideas to ke keep you top of word of mouth with people that you're around, with your sphere of influence or anything else. So if you're sitting there going, well, I don't know, you know how to get people to talk about me. I just gave you the opportunity. Wordofmouth.com, really cool. They're not, they're not things that you're going to cringe at doing if I say, all right, you got to go do blah, blah, blah. And your backbone shivers from top to bottom and you re regret ever meeting me and hearing my voice. You know, it's not that at all. This stuff is easy, fun, simple stuff to do. Um, I think one of the things, well, homeactions.net is a monthly newsletter that we have talked about several times. Um, and if I can spell N-E-T, I spell calm. Home actions with an S dot net. Uh, goes out twice a month, every other week. They prepare everything for you. You don't have to touch a button. It's like $400 for the year. And they have a whole backend tracking system where you can see who likes what, what they looked at, what they clicked, what they favored, and they prepare the articles in there. Um, and then the very last article in there is actually talking about what's going on in your in, around you. So you can click on that and they can get all the information about cool, fun, hip events, which is really pretty interesting. Um, you know, of course, one of my, this is a script. Uh, that I'll give you guys. And this is for either a negotiation or when you first meet with someone and you're trying to, well, get them to do something they might not want to do. No, I'm kidding. It's called the triple F script. You know, the FFF script. It's called, it stands for feel, felt, found. Okay. So Matt, you're going to be, you're going to say that you don't want to, um, you don't know if you should, you know, if you should sell right now. So Matt, are you thinking about selling right now? No. Yes. What? No. Wait. What'd you say? <laughs> I would totally tuned you out. Um, and so my, we'll pretend Matt was actually engaged in the conversation. So now here goes the feel felt found. Remember? Well, Matt, you know, I, I totally understand how you feel. I mean, I felt the same way when I sold my house, but I'll tell you, man, I'll, what I found is that using the McDaniel Callahan team to help me sell my home was the best decision I ever made in my entire life. Mm. Feel felt found. Good. Feel felt found. It's that you relate. I feel Mm -hmm. The same way I felt it, but then I found something, mm -hmm. you know what, I like Golly, I, Matt, I don't, I feel the same way about the market. I'm not no. so sure if this is the best time to sell, but you know what I, what I, uh, I gotta tell you, I feel it. I, I, I found that when I did my research that the bell curve at the top here, I think we're going to be cresting the top. And this is probably, I know it, it's scary to go have to go buy something in this market, but if you go rent something, I found that if you do that, then you're going to be able to get the highest price for your home. Feel, felt, found, triple F. I can totally hear your dad doing that when he was um, oh, trying God, to yeah. get you to uh, realize the error of your ways. Which time? <laughs> <laughs> no, not which one. Yeah, just one of the many. Um, so what <laughs> I was looking many. up was, uh, and this is something that Jeff Cohn does with his team, is called The Personal Marketing Company. So it's tpmco.com, The Personal Marketing Company. Um, is the name of the company, so it's just the abbreviation for that. What is it? tpmco.com. tpmco.com, like The Personal Marketing Co. Company.com. So it's uh, basically it's, they have a client follow-up program that Jeff puts every one of their past clients, which last year was 580 freaking clients. Show off. Um, yeah, exactly. So basically what happens is you pay them $25 and they get 23 mailings over the next five years. You never have to worry about it again. You give them the information once, they take it from there, and you are done. So it gets you uh, 23 touches over the next five years with a previous or past or current client, basically. And, uh, and you never have to touch it again, and it's postcards. So we're not talking about, um, you know, just the odd newsletter. It's not an email thing. It's an actual physical, tangible postcard. So it's one of the cheapest, um, 
ways to keep in touch with past clients and make sure that you stay top of mind. It's a great, great program. I like it. Yeah. Comes so out personal marketing back. company. Wing it. Client follow-up newsletters. Wow, the newsletters are pretty awesome in here. Yeah, they have other stuff, but that's uh, that's the service. Out of the stuff that they offer, that's the one that Jeff uh, really recommends a lot and that he, that he actually uses with his team. Yeah, I love that. That is something for 23 bucks or whatever. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. What a and then for, uh, for anybody that, uh, if you want to see what's, what other stuff Jeff uses for his team, if you go to EliteRealEstateSystems.com, there's a page called Real Estate Tools and Services. Um, there's something that I wanted to point out there. So if anybody is interested, if you have a team, um, whether it's small or large is, is irrelevant, but Craigslist posting of listings, your, both your own and other agents in your brokerage or even agents from other brokerages once you get their permission, that is an unbelievably low-cost way to generate buyer leads. So what was that one? Uh, it's just Craigslist posting, okay? Oh, so the okay. way that you do that and not have to spend all of your time doing it or paying someone in your office to do it is to hire a guy that Jeff uses. It's, uh, he runs a small team of virtual assistants in the uh, Dominican Republic. It's called All Tech World. So the link uh, for that guy's email, his name is Alvin, uh, it's just it's on that same page. Just go to EliteRealEstateSystems.com. It's on the, the resources page, and it's called All Tech World. So that's basically a small company, a small team of virtual assistants for a few hundred bucks a month. They post, uh, I think it's 150 or 100 to 150 listings per day to Craigslist on your behalf. And then people will see those postings. They will go to your lead capture website, like a Real Geek site or a Boomtown site, whatever you happen to have. And then they will, you'll capture their information through there and be able to follow up with them. So it's a way of end running uh, Google AdWords or other types of internet lead gen to drive traffic to your website. It's sending traffic directly from Craigslist to your site. So it's okay. a really interesting, very, 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 very effective way to generate buyer leads uh, for teams. So let's talk about the 800 pound gorilla in the room. Uh, how are you going to so, get permission from the other agents to do said action? Very simple. Number one, you go to your broker and you ask permission from the broker itself, and you may get blanket permission from them just to advertise all of the broker's listings. And then if you want to advertise the listings from other agents, all you do is call them up or email them. So, for example, Jeff's team did a call blitz. They just loaded up a bunch of uh, agents' numbers in the dialer, called them just like they would circle prospect and just said, hey, you know, this is so-and-so with the uh, with the Lee, Omaha Lee, you know, real estate group. Just wanted to check and see we'd like to advertise your listings for you on Craigslist and obviously help, you know, possibly bring you a buyer for your listing. You mm -hmm. know, we would like to send you an email so that you can give us permission to do that. We don't want to do anything without your permission, but we would love to post your listing to Craigslist on, on your behalf and basically help market your listing for you and help bring you a buyer. Would that be okay? And that's it. That's, that's the script. Awesome. That's awesome. That's easy. That's yeah, great. and then like if you're um, if you have an agent with a small team and you don't want to do like a full blown blitz and post hundreds and hundreds of them a day, you just contact let's say the the top you know ten or fifteen agents in your uh, in your market that list the most homes and get their permission and just go straight for the big dogs first. Why would you not want to have all those postings? I and mean, that doesn't make uh, makes no sense. Why but would you not want to have all those postings? Yeah, it makes no sense because you're going to pick up all the buyer sides. They represent mm -hmm. the sell sides. Keep your ass busy. It costs you virtually nothing. Yeah, a few hundred bucks a month. gets done. Yeah, it's great. I like I said, like it. if you have four or 500 bucks to put to marketing, um, let's say you already have a lead capture website. Let's say, you know, like a real geek site or whatever the case is. So as long as you can handle traffic to your website where people can sign up uh, to view more homes and you capture their email and their phone number so you can actually follow up with them, actually that is a great... Up. Yeah, it's a great way to generate uh, very inexpensive buyer leads. So the only caveat to that, if, it, if you can even call it that, is uh, in the process of check or tracking all of their numbers for last year over the last couple of years, Craigslist posting leads tend to be uh, a little lower on the average list price, like 10 to 15% lower. So, But other than that, they're just like any other internet lead. They close in about six months. And uh, that's the average. Of the, every other number is the same. As long as you follow up with them the same way you would any other type of internet lead, um, they will convert just like any other internet lead. So you completely forget about them. Put them in a drawer. Feel good that you got the email that they that, that you got the lead, but then never talk to them. <laughs> yeah, that would be a way to waste money. <laughs> yeah, don't do that, <laughs> dude. We are at bingo, my friend. We that's are right. at four. 
So if uh, if anybody has any questions on those uh, on those resources, um, just reach out to me and Greg on Facebook. That's the best way to get a hold of us. Uh, obviously, take the McDaniel Challenge if you really want to dive into some specific ways to market yourself, learn what your superpower you know superpower is, and come up with a, a customized marketing plan for you that'll get you excited and out the door and talking to people. That's that's when you talk to Greg and uh, get an hour on his calendar. It was more like an hour and a half, dude. Yeah. Okay. So it's uh, what's what's the McDaniel challenge? How do the people reach you? The MCC McDaniel challenge, um, guys. I want you to reach out to me on my cell phone, my personal cell phone. Yes, it truly is. If you're on the fence, get off a fucking fence. Call me, text me. My phone number nine two five nine one five nineteen seventy eight. I want to talk to you. I really am a nice guy. I don't bite. Well, hard. Um, and you know. Um, <laughs> I don't know why you had to clarify that, but okay. Uh, it's, a, oh, it's, a, it's a line from a movie that I always, uh -oh. Casey and I always reference back and forth to. Right. Um, I think it was uh, Austin Powers. I don't bite. Hard. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, when, the number is 925 925-915-1978, 925-915. 1978 i really look forward to you know talking with you guys thank you so much for all of you that have reached out um and you know made contact with me you'll everyone has done it has walked away happy they give me thank you letters nikki again kudos to you um please do it guys hashtag do not let greg spend a night alone oh man i got another one of those references they're like greg hashtag don't let greg and I spend a night alone i'm like oh thank god yes that's so true <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so people take the McDaniel Challenge. Have fun with that. Talk to Greg. And uh, and then a quick shout-out to our sponsors once again, Viral Marketing. Just want to thank them so much for helping to make podcasts and hangouts like these happen. Check them out at getviral.com. Remember, viral is with a Y. And mm -hmm. then uh, equity with two Qs. Everything is misspelled just so that they can, you know, so it's an individual name. Actually, anyway. Matt, for me, it's spelled just perfectly. I'm sure it is, Mr. Dick Slussick. That's hilarious. <laughs> Equity, which you're like, wait a minute, didn't equity always have two Qs? Like, yeah, no, that's no, Greg. Greg. Sorry, Greg. All right, so that's <laughs> equity with two Qs, which if, if, you're, if you're dyslexic is the correct spelling of equity. Uh, online buyer lead generation, it's perfect for solo agents or small teams of agents within one brokerage. So reach out to Greg, take the McDaniel Challenge, and he can let you know if it's available in your market. And remember, if it's not, if you can rustle up a few other people that want to go in on it together, we can bring it anywhere in the country, hook you up with a mortgage lender that will subsidize the cost so you get higher quality leads, Mm -hmm. A number of leads you can actually work over the long run to work with actual clients and close actual deals so that you don't just have a bunch of leads sitting in an envelope in your desk or on a CRM somewhere that never get a call from you. That's or horrible. Or an, Excel, or an Excel spreadsheet. Or, or an Excel spreadsheet. Or, or something like this, Matt. Like, oh, oh. yep, there's another lead. Oh, oh there's just, another lead. Oh, just there's money just lead. flowing right there's out the bottom lead. of the bucket. There's another lead. Yeah, that's, that's like right. what, 25, 50. A hundred. That's about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in in just in cards that I just didn't call yeah exactly so don't, don't be like greg. greg do don't. do what greg says and not what greg does That's follow like up with your leads small. but anyway get in touch with greg about equity and he can let you know how to get set up with that so that you can uh, get a higher quality number lower number but higher quality buyer leads so yeah with that said we'll be back here on friday um we're going to be talking it'll just be me and greg for this one and we got uh, some awesome uh, awesome interviews coming up uh, is it uh, uh, is this one with uh, angela we got angela burton baby we're talking I'm short talking sales and foreclosures sales. That's right. That's right. So uh, Caitlin got her all set up. She was going to look and sound great for the interview. So we've got her coming up on Friday. We've got Chris Angel, who's going to be talking about it's a farming mastermind next Friday. We've got Brian Casella lined up for March 4th. So the next few Fridays are going to be really high-level interviews on some awesome topics. Brian is going to talk about uh, it's going to be like a door knocking and prospecting mastermind. And believe cool. me, like when you put like Brian Casella and you, Greg, in the same virtual room talking about door knocking and prospecting, that hangout may be three hours long, or we'll just be. stuff three hours of content into one one hangout. Oh, we are going to tell war stories. We're going to banter. We we're going to really, you know, tell people how to handle certain objections in different situations. Like if you see a pit bull that's 150 pounds, don't go running screaming in the opposite direction. They viewed it as a game, and your leg is the prize. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the the advice for the pit bull is the same advice for bears, right? Just stand up and make yourself bigger. Just shit this sit there and shit your pants and hope to God it goes away. Oh, it smells okay. fear. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, Sadly, that's, right. that's probably not fear. <laughs> that's not fear. <laughs> All right, that's great. your own mess. 
All right, well, let's send this baby home. We will see you guys back here on Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific, and then next week, Mondays and Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Pacific. We always broadcast here on Google Hangouts. And uh, if you have questions, shoot us a message over Facebook. That's how we love to, to interact with you. And then make sure to take the McDaniel Challenge. Other than that, thank you so much, guys. We'll talk to you next time. You guys are amazing. We love you. We'll see you Friday.